Queen of Free Time, I am Sherry Lowe here, and we're talking about pandemic shopping. So it's really the pandemic has changed the way we including uh, where we buy things, how we buy things. So first up, curbside has become pretty popular now, Sherry. It has. And you know, at the beginning of the shutdown earlier this spring, it was kind of difficult to secure a spot. But the good news is that's really cleared up quite a bit. A lot of stores have changed their systems. Many stores have added curbside as an option. Just don't forget that if you are curbside shopping that you can still usually use coupons. Um, and that includes places like Kroger um, and other stores, both digital and paper. So be sure that you're using those coupons to maximize your savings. Uh, I personally have had a great experience with the Aldi curbside lately and I've been using it quite a bit. It literally takes minutes for them to put things in your car so you can get same day if you are going to run in the store don't forget you need to mask up so it's a good idea to keep some extra masks in a sealed bag in your car just in case you might forget when you go out delivery options so there are plenty of um, delivery options out there still viable. I have a coupon out on queenoffree.net today linked out for Amazon has a $10 off 50 for Whole Foods right now. So if you shop there or you're wanting to have groceries delivered and you want to take full advantage of that right now. But also places like Grubhub, actually um, you can use Rakuten to be able to get cash back when you get delivery for food, which is fantastic. So always be looking for those coupons and those rewards like we always do but think about some of those things for things that you wouldn't normally a lot of stores have already come out and said that they're closing for Thanksgiving this year so uh, Black Friday is gonna be particularly uh, the place to shop <laughs> You know, it's going to be different this year for a certain because I think even if we have a better handle on things that there's going to be limited crowds and so we're going to be watching for some updates and changes and be flexible. Um, WTHR has been listing a number of those stores that will be closed on Thanksgiving this year so you're going to want to think about shopping ahead. There won't be any running out for last minute ingredients like there normally is. So we want to be smart. I'm going to keep you informed as always and we may be doing a lot more Black Friday shopping online this year. Yeah, so any indication about what Amazon Prime Day may look like this year? Yeah, you may have missed that, right? It would have yeah. been within the last couple of weeks. Typically, Amazon has chosen to shift Prime Day, but we have received word that it is definitely on. If you do a quick internet search, you may discover that um, India actually is having Amazon Prime Day next week. So don't get confused when you look at that. That's not for the U.S. But right now, indications are early fall or maybe even into October. But the page, the landing page is on Amazon. They are planning on going ahead with that. So we'll have all those great deals on Amazon products like their digital devices um, that we always see every year plus many more. Good to hear Sherry. Thank you so much. We'll be right back.